Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you guys on the Shure SE846's um, in-ear monitors. I hadn't seen too many reviews on them, so I thought I'd just kind of give you guys my two cents, just kind of based off my experience and let you know what I thought about them. Um, should mention too, while these are pretty expensive, I actually found a pretty good deal on them. I'll put a link below in the description also, so you guys can check that deal out uh, if you're interested in picking up a pair for yourself. So um, when you probably first saw these, you may have noticed, uh, well, two things. One, the price tag, which I'll talk about in a minute, but two, that they come in a wired and a wireless version. Um, right now in 2019, I highly recommend going with the wireless version. With more and more phones and devices um, not having headphone jacks, when you're going to invest this amount of money on headphones, it's nice to have them future-proof. Now, if you're worried about the quality of the audio suffering because it's wireless versus wired, don't be. Why? Well, a couple reasons why. These are different than true wireless earbuds, like the ones that just go in your ear, like the Apple uh, uh, AirPods. They still have a wire that connects them. Now, what that means is that you get zero latency between the two headphones. To me, they really haven't perfected true wireless earbuds yet. Um, but these work really, really good. The Bluetooth module that receives the audio has a built-in DAC or digital audio converter of the utmost quality. So you're not getting any kind of deterioration in sound quality at all by going between the wired and the wireless. Okay, so let's talk about the next thing, and that's the price. Um, obviously, these are very expensive uh, IEMs. The question is, are they worth the money? And that, of course, depends on the individual. Um, to some people, uh, $1,000 is not the largest amount of money. To other people, uh, it's an extremely a large amount of money. But the odds are, if you're watching this video and even considering these things, um, you probably have enough money to buy one or at least think about buying a set of these. I will tell you that these earbuds the sound quality of these things is nothing short of breathtaking. Typically, um, in the world of IEMs like this, you get the largest gains at the lower prices. Like, if you go from a $20 pair of earbuds to a $100 pair of earbuds, it's like night and day. And then maybe when you go from a $100 to a $500 pair, you notice them definitely much, much better quality, but it's not like night and day. And then usually your gains kind of, the more money you spend, you're getting smaller increments of gains. Honestly, that's not really the case with these. These things blow away anything I've ever heard remotely close in this price range. And coming from having used $500 earbuds before, I didn't think I would it would be that much better. Um, but honestly, it is. You'll re-listen to albums and hear things that you've never heard before. And the beauty of in-ear monitors like this is it doesn't rely on room acoustics. You could spend $10,000, $20,000 on speakers, and if you don't have them positioned perfectly with the perfect kind of components, um, perfect kind of room acoustics, you're not going to get the ideal sound that they were designed for. And that's the beauty of in-ear monitors. The environment in which they're listened to is the exact same all the time. So they can tune these things to make absolute audio perfection. And that's really what they've done with these. This is, in my opinion, as close to audio perfection as you can get. Now you do pay a premium for it, but if you ask people who've owned these before, I've, I've never met anybody who hasn't said if they lost these or they were stolen, they would not replace them. In other words, they, will, they would spend the money again on these if they were lost or stolen. So that's a pretty strong testament to how great these earbuds are. Anyway, if you guys have any more questions on these, uh, just leave them in the comments below. And like I said, if you're thinking about picking them up, uh, check out that link I put in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.